Kicking us off with the news this week is um, one that kind of came out of nowhere because it seems like some... Well, I get the sense that like there's some high-powered lawyers or whatever that just kind of weren't paying attention to their calendar and just went, oh, crap, that's today, isn't it? As <laughs> Disney and their lawyers are now suing the heirs of certain Marvel characters so they can retain creative control. So it's a little complicated, uh, but the basic gist of it is the comic book creators, the heirs of those creators, like the children of Stan Lee, the children of Jack Kirby, Steve Ditko, etc., mm-hmm. are basically claiming that, hey, after this certain window, since our parents created these characters, they belong to us. Characters like Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Black Widow, um, Iron Man, all these characters belong to us now. So Disney obviously has a lot to lose with this, and they're countersuing basically and saying, no, you don't have the rights to this. I am no legal expert here, and I'm not even going to try and pretend to be, and I don't fully comprehend it. So we're going to try and comp- uh, translate this to you as best as we can. But again, I, and especially not Josh, are not legal consultants. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> no, neither of us. I can give you all kinds of legal advice. It yeah, neither of us are legal like... counsel in this situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All we could do is throw up this fun graphic with Mickey with a gavel. Um <laughs> Sue him. Do that. Just go with that. Uh, but uh, so I know a lot of people are just like immediately going worst case scenario of oh, you're saying Disney could lose Marvel. There's some people that are going good. Good for them. Billion dollar companies not having the intellectual property anymore. And then there's other people that are even more ignorant to the situation. that are just going good. Then that means Sony will own Spider-Man out. I'm just going uh that that's not how that works that's not how any of this works yeah. if if the heirs claim back spider-man etc sony doesn't own spider-man and disney doesn't own spider-man that that's how the legal system works yeah. i'll tell you though i'm not overly concerned about this because the same thing happened about seven years ago with dc and superman the descendants of jerry siegel and joe schuster sued dc basically saying hey um our descendants created this character, therefore we own it. And I believe all the same people are involved in this in terms of the um, attorneys, the lawyers, the teams in question are still exactly the same. It's just the people suing and the suees are different. But the people actually fighting the war, I don't believe are different, which makes me go, okay, same combatants in the legal field. What makes this fight any different than the last one? Now... We can go into a little bit of, heaven forbid, if Disney loses this lawsuit, what that could mean. Because I don't think it's as drastic as some people assume. But Josh, you see this. Were you surprised by this at all? Do you think, how do you, what do you make of this? No, I'm with you on that. Of like the, it, look, it almost seems like somebody was like, oh, oh, that's today? Oh, okay. Uh, well, countersuit. Go, go, go. I don't know. Like, it's just. I, it, it seems like somebody just forgot about dates and stuff like that. But I, and part of it, like, I, I don't want to make assumptions about the heirs, but like, how, how, it feels really arrogant to look at what these companies have done for the comic book industry, for the comic book movie industry, regardless if you like the movies or not, they're, you're still getting those characters in front of more people. Um, and your response is, yeah, no, I want I want to own those. Those are, you know, see this piece of paper, it says I rightfully own them. They're mine. Uh, I, I, it doesn't make sense to me. To me, it, it like, well, okay, why, why do you have to take away the, the creative freedom or the creative... Uh, ownership of that why can't you just be like hey like because we are the you know the family we do deserve like royalties or a cut or, or something i think like that's that. more what this is about yeah. i don't think yeah i don't think if this deal if something happens here i don't think disney would lose the rights to keep making stuff in the mcu i think this would be more of the heirs going these are multi-billion dollar franchises we want a cut of this so I see if this happens, which I don't think this will happen because Disney has the highest 
level lawyers they can afford basically they're the best in the business except when it comes to scar johansson you're gonna lose that battle easily go scar joe yeah. um <laughs> in this case disney's probably gonna win this one just because it was you guys worked for marvel so the property belongs to marvel not the individuals that make it type of thing um yeah. that's just how businesses run but if the heirs get the rights back to these characters, what I see happening, I know some people will be like, it's theoretically possible that Thor could show up in a Superman movie or Spider-Man could show up in a Batman movie. I'm going, I don't think so. I think it would just mean the heirs own the rights and they can license it out to other people like a Disney or like a Sony to the point of, yeah, the heirs could be like, you can keep using your characters, but we want... 10 20 million each movie that you use these people in i think that would be the only real difference um mm -hmm. the heirs would is, now be getting a cut of it basically yeah which is still a little like shady of like you're coming up you're coming forward now okay cool whatever granted i don't know how the copyrights terms have been working and and how all the those that uh all those paper that paperwork has been Wild and all that again we're not legal people but like but also keep in mind disney's the king of copyright there's a yeah. reason why mickey mouse has never left disney and never will leave it because they've more or less twisted the u.s government and trademarks around for the sole purpose of keeping their own ips now some people have gotten way down the rabbit hole of hypotheticals um and somebody had one that i was like that would be interesting uh if the heirs get the thing back, does that mean Sony does not own Spider-Man anymore? And Marvel yes. could straight up buy it back? Which that would, would be actually super interesting. Does Marvel huh. sacrifice this? Or maybe they work it into a deal. Oh, that would be interesting. Because yeah. that's the interesting that's the interesting twist here. I was not paying attention to stuff like that, but somebody suggested I was like, oh. That's a, that's a chess move there. That's a very oh. risky chess move. Yeah, because... But then, like, where does that leave Venom and... Because then that uh, leaves and Sony and Mobius. Disney, more or less, in a bidding war for Spider-Man. And if that's the case, Disney's going to outbuy Sony any day of the week. And Venom comes out later this week, and I already have my tickets for Friday morning to see it before going to work... I think it's going to be connected sooner rather than later from some of the stuff we're hearing from Venom. Um, yeah. But I, mm. I, I've i said for a while, I think I've said it on the podcast before, um, within the next four to five years, I expect Spider-Man to be back with Marvel full sail, like completely. And mm -hmm. maybe that opens the door for that. I'm not sure. But... I don't think this is as serious as some people are making it out to be. I think people just read the headline of Disney may lose control of their characters and like Yeah, there's no way, bro. No. It's like saying Disney might lose Mickey Mouse. Yeah, there's a one percent chance of that happening, but there's a ninety nine percent chance of it not happening. I think yeah. it's just one of those easy click uh headlines that people have been following for them going Disney's legal team, we've been through this before with Superman. I don't think anything changes this time around. Yeah, and I think the the other thing to to keep in mind too is like there's no way that Disney wrote up the licensings uh, agreements and contracts without having this in mind. Like I don't know how you just forget about the heirs might want to come for money or something. I don't know. You know what I mean? So we'll we'll see what happens. But I'm with you. I, I don't think anything really significant is gonna happen at all. <laughs>